Greetings. This is the instrument sidekick video for page 11, French horn, first notes and rests. French horn, page 11, first notes and, sorry, songs. First notes and songs. Okay? So this page is extremely, extremely important. We have to learn a whole lot in this page. Okay? Now it says white belt test page. Okay? So that means for you to get your white belt in my class, all right, this is the page you have to master to be able to get your white belt. Here's how the test works. We'll be doing, we'll be learning all five of these notes, all right? Once you've got them down and you're ready to test for them, they have to be tested in your lesson, all right? And in the lesson, uh, when I, I'm ready to give the test, uh, I will ask you to play these notes, uh, and I'll call out the notes in a random order, and you need to be able to play them back towards me, okay? And you're going to find that's quite challenging. This page is going to take you two, maybe even three weeks before you're ready for this test, okay? It's a very, very challenging page. So uh, you're allowed when you take the test to make mistakes. It doesn't have to be right the first try, but you do need to know that you made the mistake and be able to fix it all by yourself. Think of it like doing a math test. If you know that the answer of 2 plus 2 is 4 and you wrote 5, before you hand it in, you erase that five and you write the number four and then you hand it in. So same idea in the uh, when I'm giving you the test, without me needing to tell you you made a mistake, if you make a wrong note, you need to tell me, oh wait, that was a wrong note, let me fix it, and you play the right note and it still is good for the test, all right? So we're working on not just being able to hit the right notes, but being able to know you had the right note and being able to fix it, okay? Um, so it's going to be a, a challenging page. You're going to need to practice this page a whole lot. Um, don't forget to keep doing the mouthpiece exercises, though. If you do anything, uh, if you only have a few minutes uh, in your day to practice, then still be doing page six with the mouthpiece exercises. That is the most important page to keep doing. Um, when you have time to be really working a lot on this, all right, make sure do the mouthpiece exercises first, then work on this page. Okay? Now... We have two columns here. This is the no finger column. All three of these notes have no fingers pressed down on the valves. Okay, you need to change your embouchure to change from these notes. You have the lowest note, a middle note, and a high note. Okay, then their first finger notes are notes that you play while your first finger stays pressed down. Not just pressing and letting go, but stays down as you're buzzing and you change with your armature sure, to switch between those two notes, okay? Once we have them all down and uh, some exercises mastered, then over here you can learn to tongue those notes in this order and make hot cross buns, okay? And you have to tongue them, okay? So this talks about the thing that we were working on in the uh, tonguing uh, exercise with the mouthpiece, all right? So this one right here. All right, so you tongue those notes, and it points out that it's good to be able to sing it. All right, I find it very, very useful to sing the song before I play the song. Uh, helps get it in your ear so you know you're doing it right. All right, so over here, we have a C, an E, and a G. Low C is a line underneath the staff called the ledger line. E is on the line on the lowest line of the staff. And G is the line just above that line, the second one up. All right. That's a lowest note, a middle note, and a high note. Now, it is possible to get lower than that C and higher than that G. So we still got a master trying to hit just these notes just right. Okay. Now, in this column, with the first finger down, we have a D, which is the space underneath the staff, and the F, which is the lowest space that's still on the staff. All right. D and F both have first finger down. All right, so let's start with this first column with the C, E, and G, okay? Now remember, you need to try and hit these exact pitches. It's not a C just because you had no fingers down. You might play an E or a G by mistake, or one of the notes I mentioned that are higher and lower than those, all right? So you need to be able to uh, play that sound, and you need to be able to play and hear whether you're the same pitch as me and if you're too low in sound, you need to do the things to raise up your pitch. And if you're too high in sound, you need to do the things to lower your pitch. All right. So here is what a C sounds like. Okay. This is what you want to try and sound like. All right. 
right? So you want to be trying to hit that C, all right? Um, so if you sound too high or too low, make adjustments to your embouchure, make adjustments to your lip shake, and make adjustments to your airflow to change the pitch to that very pitch, all right? You will need to memorize what that feels like, and it's only going to come from playing that note for days, okay? You need to get to a point where you just know the correct embouchure to get that sound. And it's going to be frustrating at times, okay? And you need to be patient with yourself and realize that it is going to take time. You will get there, all right? Sounds like this. All right. Now, one note up, the E sounds like this. And one note up from there is the G. Some people have higher, uh, easier time playing the higher note. Some people have an easier time playing the lower note. But it doesn't change the fact that you need to learn to play all three, okay? So you need to work out what you need to do to get those notes. Now, you're not ready to go to the next column, the first finger column, until you can do this. All right. Do, mi, so, mi, do in vocal language, okay? Now, when you can do that, then go to the next column over, the first finger column. Remember, as I said, don't press your finger and let go. You don't want to be half down. You need to press that finger all the way down and keep it pressed and then buzz your notes. The lower of the two, once again, not the lowest note you can hit, but lowest of the two that we're working on is a D. And then the next one up is the F. All right. So you need to work on being able to hit exactly those notes to be able to know you're hitting those notes for sure. And if you're making a mistake and not hitting the right note, being able to change it to the right note. It's going to take a couple weeks. Remember, be patient. It's not all going to happen the first day. Okay. Don't get too frustrated. All right. Now, the exercise you need to be able to do for D and F is this. So for the first column, you have to be able to do this. The second column, you need to be able to do this. Okay? Now, when you can do that, before we still do hot cross buns, then you need to master one more exercise that connects them. Okay, now you'll see from the C down here that there's an arrow going from the C to the D, then an arrow going from the D to the E, and so on and so forth, uh, squiggling up. Okay, that's for this exercise. You need to be able, be able to go from C, D, E, F, G. So C is open, D is your first finger down, E is open, F is your first finger down, and G is open by open, I mean no fingers, okay? So you need to be able to do that. Sounds like this. I'll do it again. And don't be satisfied with only kind of doing it, all right? Make sure you can absolutely play each of those notes going up. Then you need to absolutely be able to play each of those notes coming down. Sorry, that was an E. My mistake. I'll fix it. See how I knew I hit the wrong note and I was able to fix it? That's totally fine. No one's expecting you to be perfect, but I do need you to get to the point where you know whether it's right or wrong and be able to fix it. I'll do that one again. Alright. And I am tonguing to, 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 to. So, fa, mi, re, do. And the other one was do, re, mi, fa, so. All right. It does help to sing it before you do it, okay? It can't hurt to go, like, do that and be like, do, mi, so, mi, do. Helps to be able to hear it if you sing it first, okay? Now, then we go on to the hot cross bun song. I'm going to sing it. Do me starts with me, hot cross buns, hot cross buns. 
One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. And now I'll try and play it, tonguing all the notes. <laughs> Now, a couple things to talk about here when you're working on doing that. Make sure you are tonguing the notes. Two, two, two. Don't separate by breath. Separate with your tongue. So when you have four E's in a row. Sorry, four D's in a row. Don't go two, who, who, who. Go two, 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 two in one breath. Don't huff in between. You're more likely to get a wrong note, okay? Once you have your embouchure set, you want to just keep that embouchure set and blowing while you just use your tongue to separate the notes. Okay? Now, another mistake people will make is they'll bounce their finger in between the notes. Don't do that either. You're more likely to get this. Okay? It's going to make both notes. Keep that first finger down as you do a bunch of Ds. Okay, keep it down, okay? Now, uh, the next issue is while you're practicing this, okay, try not to get too frustrated, but be continual with your practice, okay? Constant repetition is what's needed. Uh, the mistake people will make is they'll make what's called a break and restart. Break and restart is when people actually like stop and totally restart so they'll be like oh that was wrong oh 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 i was wrong again man oh oh i did it again all right don't like pause and have this big reaction a huge break and restart you want to constantly be trying it. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, a lot more mistakes and successes at first. And immediately start repeating and trying to fix it. Once did I do any of the lines perfectly. There was one time I did too many C's. There was a bunch of times where I uh, uh, purposely made it so I, my amateur messed up, okay? Um, to show you that you need to immediately repeat and go from there. And that's what practice really is. So lots of repetition, okay? Immediately, and don't be don't be frustrated with by the mistakes. Just keep trying to work them out, okay? What happens is... Each time your brain start, uh, starts to pick up quicker the mistake that's happening, you start to be able to fix it faster, and then eventually your brain eventually uh, anticipates the problem and can fix it before it happens, and that's when you start really getting a lot of successes, okay? But the first thing that's got to happen is constant repetition doing it wrong, and your brain will pick it up, okay? Don't get too frustrated and patiently repeat it over and over and over, all right? Work on this page a lot. It's going to take a few weeks on just this page, and that's okay. But do keep in mind uh, to look on the next page and what to do with the water that builds up on the inside. All right, and then go back and mostly work on first mouthpiece exercise page, and then work on uh, the first notes and songs page just constantly. And once you get your white belt, then you'll be able to go on to uh, the more EDC songs, okay? Um, so keep working on it. Patience with it. It's going to take some weeks to master this. And we knew that was going to be the case. We know French horn has its issues and its challenges. You can do this, I promise you. But it's not going to happen right away. So take your time. Practice, practice, practice. And may the force be with you.